compensation is personally one of my most used features on any camera. I like to shoot in aperture priority mode where I'm controlling the aperture of the camera and the camera's controlling everything else. Frankly, usually I don't mind it doing everything else. I just wanna get that depth of field the way that I want it. But I also wanna be able to make the image a little bit brighter or a little bit darker depending on the scene. And I wanna be able to do it quickly. So this is where you use something called exposure compensation. Now the default way to get to it requires pushing a button and then moving a dial. I'm gonna show you that first, but then I'm gonna show you how to set the camera so that you only have to spin the dial. So the default way to set this up is to push the plus and minus button on the top of the camera here, which enters the exposure compensation mode. And now you can see on the dial that we can simply drag this up or down to make the image brighter or darker. So we can go all the way down to minus five stops, so five stops darker, or all the way up to five stops brighter. But again, as soon as I, let's say I go down to minus one and a third, and I tap the shutter button to wake it up out of that mode so it's no longer in the exposure compensation control mode, and I take my picture, and then I decide that I want to change the exposure compensation again. Now I have to once again hit that button and then spin the dial. Well, that's not something that I wanna do because I do this all the time. So let's go into the menu settings. And under the custom wrench setting, so again, if I hit the display button, you can see exactly where that is. That's the custom setting. We go to operation and then over to dial set, which is on page three of six. And then this is where just incidentally, you set whether you want the front spinning wheel to control your shutter speed or your aperture. And you can control whether you wanna rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise to make your change. That's typically useful if you're coming from another camera system that it usually goes the other way. So you're just used to rolling the dial the other way. This is a great way to not have to relearn it, just reprogram it the way you like. So at the top of this, you'll see it says uh, sign dial, F or SS, that's F for f-stop and SS for shutter speed. So in this mode, the one on the top, the dial on top is your aperture and the one on the back is your shutter speed. And then that goes the other way around. Okay, but that's not what we wanna see. What we wanna see is right here, exposure compensation. By default, this is set to off, but you can turn it on to either the rear or the front dial. Personally, I like the rear dial. So I set it to there on the rear dial and now let's go back into regular shooting mode. And now without having to push that plus or minus button up there, I can simply roll the dial down or roll it back up to change my exposure. This is my personal preferred way to work. I love having the exposure compensation right there, literally under my thumb, so I can dial it up or down as I go.